Amen. Why should things be in order? Exactly. Exactly. Order is for punks. Yeah, we don't need no stinking order. We don't need no stinking order. Yeah, we ordered out there. <laughs> Found out this. The photograph. It lies in a folder in a drawer in a secondhand store. They stand before the manor woods, formal, but for her hand, hand on his arm, and her sister's slight separation from man and wife. The husband. He abuses his wife in the marriage bed, the willing sister in the woods, needing one for the power she gives wanting the other for what he takes. The wife. She needs her husband to feed the sense of self he's changed in her. Ignorant, she wants her sister for comfort when crying is done. The sister. Without, she thinks, need. She only wants her lover and sister to be gone. The family estate hers alone. The question. When all are found objects to be used for reasons we hold alone, what are the forms of murder, and who is killing whom? Okay. Lake and winter. Your children have gone dancing. They have learned to live, to grow, heedless of conceits which prompted you. There's snow in the foothills. Were they with you, all the fleeing tracks of rabbits would stare back like empty eyes as you bent over them, pointing out the speed of life to those now far removed. This doesn't matter. There are some things to touch but not control, like leading all your partners in the dances of their lives. sits in her chair in the day room, new baby cradled in her arms. She smiles down on him, <coughs> wonders what he sees as he looks past her to the locked doors. He seems so intent, so completely unaware that his doll's hands reach blindly for her breast. Monica is quite aware. She's also aware that she's forgotten Pain would be eased if she could remember, or could forget the forgetting. Where did this child with the porcelain smooth chin skin come from? She can't recall his birth, carrying him, in, carrying him in her belly, or the man who placed him there. The nurse simply brought him to her, simply said she thought Monica might need someone to love. Monica thinks so too. She also thinks it odd that he won't suckle, doesn't laugh or cry, baby sneeze or burble. At random moments, this truly worries her. And she worries of what she seems to remember beneath the forgetting. Was there a man who crouched to hold her as she huddled in a corner of a room, stroked her hair until other men came to take her? Was there a baby before this? A girl who cried so fiercely in the storm of noise. Ah, can't read. Was there a baby before this? A girl who cried so fiercely, the storm of noise drove unexpected demons from Monica's head, <coughs> down her arms, to her fingers, until the tempest ceased. Monica's thoughts drift away on motes of dust in the afternoon sunlight through the barred windows. Part of her stays in touch with the baby, keeps it safely held against her aching breast and breaking heart. When she wakes to the sunset, she'll have forgotten remembering for a while. 
will sit content in the light of this new child's ceaseless smile and unblinking eyes. standing tradition and waiting for the bus of having a coast, a host and a co-host. So everyone say hello to the co-host. <laughs> hello, co-host. Yo! Looks like things are going all right. Yo, host. I think so. Yeah. In a moment, I'm going to hand you the sign-up list in case you want to sign up or any of these people who joined us want to. So, you got that? Rather. I'm working on a collection, and normally my collections happen by accident. Like one day I'll just really need to write one note and one 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 thing. But this one I'm actually trying to do. I'm calling.